Hey everyone, this is Shira and I'm going to show you how to add text to your broadcasts on Blog TV. It's a new feature that Blog TV introduced just a few days ago and what it does is it allows you to add up to three layers of text directly to your screen including clickable links. So here we go. You begin by clicking add text right beneath the broadcast. This is going to open a new menu just for the text layers and look around a bit. The, the features are pretty basic. Over here you can choose uh, which fonts you want. You can choose which font sizes you want. It goes up from 12 all the way to 72. Uh, here U stands for underlined, I stands for italics, B stands for bold, very basic. Uh, this is where we're going to add the URL later if you want. This A right over here is where you choose your font color. This will open up a color menu for your font. Same applies for the background color right over here. You choose which background color you want. We'll get to that too. And here you choose whether you want the text to the background to appear transparent or you want to use a background color. So if you don't choose a background color, if you don't click this, the background will appear transparent. Now, to begin, go right over here and click Add Text Layer. You can see that on the top left corner of my screen, the first layer showed up. This is going to be the default placement for the layers. Whenever you open a new layer, it will appear up here on the top left corner. This can be moved around later whenever you want, but just note that every time you open a new layer, it will appear up here. Now, we're going to enter the text. For example, this is my text. After you enter your text, the first thing you should do is highlight it. This is very important because you need to first highlight the text in order to make changes to it. So now my text is highlighted. I'm going to leave uh, the font as Ariel. Let's say I'm going to make the font color pink, background color black, and I'm going to mark Hue's background so the black appears. You can see it up here. And the font I'm going to go all the way up to 72 so you can see it nice and clearly. Okay, now that the font is bigger, you won't see the text because the layer is now smaller than the actual font. So right over here on the bottom right, there's a little icon that allows you to drag the text. You can drag the layer until the entire text appears. You can drag it anywhere you want. You can drag it this way, that way. And once you have it in place, you can also move it around the screen by dragging with your mouse up, down, left, right. And once you decide where you want it to go, note that nobody else can see the changes you made until you click the publish button over here. So I'm going to click publish and that's it. My first layer is up and running. Everybody can see it and we're going to continue. So if you want to add a new text layer, let's do this again. We're going to click on add text layer and start over. Once again, you can see it appeared on the top left corner, so you can move it around so it doesn't become confusing, so you can see your new text layer. And this time I'm going to show you how to do a scrolling text. So this is my scrolling text. Okay, as you remember, first thing you should do is highlight the text so we can make some changes to it. Um, this time I'm going to choose, let's say, Verdana. For font size, let's go down to 40. And uh, no background color, so I'm not going to mark this. And once again, I need to open up this layer so everything appears. And now I'm going to now you're going to choose if you want it to scroll. If you want to add marquee, you're going to choose which direction you want it to scroll to. So you can go right, you can go left and you can choose the speed. So the farther left you go or the farther right you go, that's the faster the faster it's going to go. This is about right, let's say for now. Okay, and now that that's done, you're going to have to hit publish so it appears on the screen. That's your second layer. Now, for the third layer, let's do a link. So I can show you how to add a link to your layer. Again, add text layer. Let's drag it down here so I can see it. Um, this time we're going to go with a link, so this is my link. I'm getting excited. So this is my link, and now I'm going to do comic. 
and I'm going to change the font to the font size to uh, 48. We're going to change the background color to, let's say, blue, and the font color to white. We're going to, you could see because I didn't use, because I didn't mark use background, it's a, it's still a transparent. So as soon as I click use background, it'll show the background color I chose. Um, I said blue, right? Okay, so blue. Um, this is my link. I'll open it up so you can see it. Instead of going all the way, I'm just going to uh, leave it up to here and drag it around the screen. Let's say on the bottom right corner. And now that it's uh, now that the text is there, we're gonna mark the text again, and remember to highlight it. And here you add your your link by clicking the URL button. So this opened up a new little thingy where you add your URL. For example, uh, blacktv.com. It's an excellent uh, link. I, I strongly recommend it. Click OK, and. It, in order to check if your link is working, you're going to hover over the text and you can see it says double click to, text, to test the link. So you're going to double click that, it's going to open the link in another window and that's going to show you whether or not you entered the link correctly. Okay, and let's say you can also make it bold, we didn't touch the bold yet, so if I make it bold and made it a little bigger, I'll have to drag it open longer. You can make it italics, you can make it underlined. These are the features that I told you about. And once again, you click Publish. By the way, see this nice little uh, question mark, nice and blue? If you click that, you can get a few more tips. If you get lost in the process, you can click that and get some more updates and info. And that's really it. Now you can have fun with it. You can use one, you can use two, you can use three. You can use uh, whatever you want. The process now begins as soon as it's published everybody sees it now you want to remove it I'm talking a lot I know how to remove your text you it's very simple again how to remove a text you gotta click the text you want ticks click the layer you want that's gonna mark it see now suddenly this one is in blue and you click remove if you want this one you click that now this one is in blue you click remove if you want this one, it's in blue, you click remove. And if you want to close the entire screen and go back to the original screen, you click this nice little X button and you're done. It's really that easy. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment or ask away, we'll help you out.